you're doing affirmations, you're repeating them day, night, whatever throughout the day, and they're not working for you. It's frustrating, you're building resentment, I know it all too well. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a different type of way to do affirmations that has worked for me when the traditional way didn't. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you build a more beautiful and fulfilling lifestyle through self-mastery and spirituality. And today, we're gonna learn a different way to do affirmation. Also, are you digging the, the 90s hairstyle today? I was just, uh, I was just feeling it. Now I just got back from the gym. Don't judge me. You can judge me. It's the internet. It's fine. <laughs> So what most people do when they do affirmations is go on the internet, grab a list of affirmations pertaining to whatever it is that's in their life that they want to change, sit down for 20, 30, whatever minutes a day and recite them over and over and over again. So this just, it just never resonated with me. Like I would do it and I just, it just wasn't, it wasn't clicking, it didn't feel right it didn't feel natural and it wasn't working it almost brought me back to when i went to catholic church when i was younger and we would all just stand up and read and recite the prayers or whatever and it just felt almost robotic and that's how it feel to me every time i did affirmations and people all over like affirmations 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 and i'm just like what like it just doesn't work it's not enjoyable and i would just it, it, it created this resentment in me. So I'm sure a lot of people out there have been feeling the same way I do, which is why I wanted to create this video. So after doing affirmations for this long over and over again and fighting it for nearly a year, I finally decided if this isn't working for me, I need to come up with a different way to do them. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two main steps today. The first one is instead of carving out an allotted amount of time during your day like oh i'm gonna do affirmations for 10 minutes or i'm gonna do them for 30 minutes or whatever it is try doing them throughout the day every time your brain thinks of the thing that you're wanting to change or the thing that you're desiring so every single time this thought around this subject say it's money okay say you know you want to attract more money into your life and bring more money into your life any time money comes across your mind, say an affirmation or two or five or 10 or whatever feels right for you. And you do this every single time it crosses your mind throughout the day. Now you can also do it in the morning and at night or whenever, sit down for an allotted amount of time a day if that works for you. But for people that doesn't work for it, this is a really good way to still get your affirmations in where it doesn't feel like it's a chore or another thing to check off your to-do list for the day. And to me, this really is like twofold because say you're you're doing the, the, the way that most people do and you set aside X amount of time for you to do affirmations, but then the rest of your day, anytime that subject, let's call it money, comes up, you're not thinking of those affirmations. You're kind of going back to the old thought patterns that are around that subject. So what you're doing is you're having contradicting thoughts the rest of the day. So in reality, what's the point of saying affirmations for 20 minutes a day if for the other 16, 17, 18 hours you're awake, you're going back to the old mindset and contradicting those thoughts. Now, that could be a limiting belief on my behalf, so don't take what I say as truth. You have to experiment You know what works for you. But the way I see it is if I'm doing this throughout the day instead of a tiny sliver of my day, then it's saturating my mind even more with the affirmation and with the restructuring of my brain and those neurological pathways so it's becoming my new normal. It's becoming my new way of thinking. And in addition to that, if you're saying your affirmations as they come into your head, as those thoughts come into your mind, you aren't allowing those contradicting thoughts to seep in when you're not paying attention. So you're almost always on the lookout. You're always monitoring your thoughts because every time you're, that, that thought's coming in about money or whatever it is, you're bashing it. 
you're getting your affirmations in. So your focus is on the desire and the affirmations and the positive rewiring more than it would be for just those 20 minutes a day. Plus, you're being more consistent with the new thought. The second thing I realized was if I was taking affirmations online or writing them down, or even if I was writing them myself in my own words for what I felt like affirmations should sound like, it didn't resonate because that's not how I speak and that's not how the thoughts flow through my brain naturally. For example, I took this list of affirmations from one of my favorite YouTubers and I wrote them down and I put them on my mirror, on my bathroom mirror, so I would go through them while I was brushing my teeth both times a day. So it wasn't a lot, but I was doing it for like, what, five minutes a day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and read one that you guys have probably seen if you're into affirmations, and that is, I am so happy and grateful. Money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. So that's a lot. That's a lot to say in one sentence, and that's not how I speak. Is that how you speak? If that's how you speak, then, then doing affirmations that are laid out this way should work for you. But I don't think most of us go around talking like, oh yeah, money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. It just sounds like a memorization. It just sounds like something that you're repeating, like almost like you're an actor and you're you know, reciting your lines and not acting them out. Does that make sense? Now, if instead of saying it that way, I say it the way I would speak to a friend or a family member, such as, I am so grateful for the financial blessings that God has given me. I never have to worry about money and it always comes to me in expected and unexpected ways. Now that's the way I would speak. So you kind of want to recite and word your affirmations as if you were just talking to someone that you're close with or just talking to a friend. And that way your brain doesn't have to go through and kind of like translate what you're saying into a way that it's used to. So what that does, in my opinion, is it makes that affirmation easier for my brain to process and easier for me to believe, especially coupled with doing it throughout the day instead of just sitting down and reciting blah, 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 over and over again. It's like, you know, if, I, if I'm going through the day, let's use the money one as an example. Say, I don't know, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go do something, I have to buy a flight, okay? And the flight is pretty expensive. The second I think that, that flight is expensive, you brush it off and you say in your terms, wow, I'm so blessed and excited that I can afford this flight no matter what it costs. I never have to worry about the cost of flights. I never have to worry about traveling because I can always pay it easily. Whatever comes to mind, just say it instead of whatever that negative thought you're thinking is. And you just do this every single time it comes up for you throughout the day. So just to recap, if regular affirmations aren't working for you, you want to one, do them throughout the day instead of a set amount of time, and two, word the affirmations in the way that makes sense to you, in the way that you would speak. And that's it. Try it out, see how it goes. It's really done a lot for me, and now I'm not building this resistance to saying affirmations or dreading it or feeling that I have to check it off my to-do list and it's another thing for me to have to do every day. It's just something I enjoy and it comes naturally and I don't even have to set a time aside to do it because I'm just doing it throughout my day normally. So I hope this video brought some value to you. If it did, leave a comment below and let me know what's one affirmation that you're going to use. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and share it with someone if you think it can help them. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.